I went live a little early so I could uh, make sure that uh, everything was good. Well, there's Kia Bell. I am glad you're there, Kia Bell. Tell me how uh, the sound is and the uh, stream. I, I went a little bit early so I could make sure everything was good. As you can see, the Tonopah Liquor Club is right behind me. Good, good. Yes, I, I love Tonopah too. It's an awesome place. And uh, sound, he said, sound is good. Thanks, CV. And there's Ronnie C. Hey, Ronnie, appreciate you coming in, buddy. Uh, I'm in Tonopah, Nevada. And uh, I'm at the Tonopah Liquor Club. I'm outside of that and I pretty much have to stay outside or I'll lose signal but uh, it's good to see people coming in got a couple of my trailblazers Kia Bell and Ronnie C in the house and it's always good to see them thanks for your support guys uh, and there's dice uh, thanks dice says it looks good and sounds good and dice I'm having a little Frey Ranch. This is the rye. So I'm working on my Whiskey 100 Club. And uh, so this will be number four on that list. And there's my wife, Tina. Good to see her. Always. Missing Tina, actually, a lot. Uh, it, it's been, I mean, I've had a lot of fun, but when it's downtime I miss Tina uh, a lot so uh, but it's cool this is this is really cool uh, and tr sweet teas in here look that's cool let me show you I'm gonna uh, turn this around not really worried about the car too much but I will show you this the Miz Pa Hotel the very haunted Ms. Pa Hotel. And I, I found out something. I have to leave my drink right here. But I found out something today that I didn't know. One of my one of my favorite people in history is, if y'all don't know, is Wyatt Earp. And I did not know till today. I checked into my room, and I'm in the Wyatt Earp room at the Mizpah. And so, uh, so I'm reading the little thing, and I, I find out that Wyatt Earp was, uh, you know, had a had a bar in Tonopah and he was a bouncer also at the Mizpah uh, hotel they said so this is all really really cool and so Lacey the bartender who poured my first drink said that this lot was where uh, Wyatt Earp owned his saloon right here Hello, Bradley. Good to see everybody coming in. Thanks for coming in. This is awesome. And so that the hit Wyatt's uh, place got burned up. And CV says I visited Wyatt Earp's grave in Calma last year. He's buried in the same cemetery as Joe DiMaggio and Levi Strauss. That's cool. And uh, also. Um, didn't know that uh, 
that he was friends with uh, Jack Dempsey. Of course, I'm sure Jack Dempsey was a lot younger. But here's the Tonopah Liquor Club, Tonopah Liquor Company, and you can become a member of the Whiskey 100 Club and start working on your 100 whiskeys. So that's cool. So there's uh, a lot of good uh, history here in Tonopah. Pretty cool. Oh, and uh, so as long as the signal's good, I I'll, I'll, I can walk a little bit. Y'all have to just alert me if the signal's going bad. Uh, Lance said this must be a very popular vlog. I, it's not a vlog, it's a live stream. <laughs> uh, and Tina's right, that is an awesome bar. And let's see, so let's see. Sweet T said she did a lot today, so she's tired. And uh, so I hope I didn't miss anything. Let's see if I missed any more. But uh, I can't, I probably can't carry my. What's cool about the Tonopah uh, liquor company is that they give you Glen Cairns. Not many bars do that. I think I like the BB4L better. I don't know what that means. But uh, also down here beside of the Mizpah is the Jim Butler Motel which was named after Jim Butler who is a uh, was a sheriff here for a long time and they have the Jim Butler um, rodeo every year so and then if you look across the street there's the old historical Tonopah mining company site which is pretty cool. So, Never been to Tony Paul Liquor Company. Only visited the Haunted Lady in Red Room at the Ms. Paul Hotel. Yeah, yeah, that's the. She's in room 502. And uh, tragic death. I'll tell tell y'all about that. He said the Tony Paul Brewing Company has amazing barbecue. I need to go down there for sure. I've heard some good stuff about. It. And there's Calif Girl says the good old Tony Paw Liquor Company. That's it. And uh, let me turn this around. Tell you a little bit about the the lady in red. They say she uh, she was on the fifth floor, very top, probably that room right there. And uh, she's probably seeing a lot of different guys. And I guess one of the gentlemen that she saw didn't understand that she saw other people. And they think he, uh, well, strangled her and stabbed her and all that kind of stuff. So that's a crazy, tragic story. And then right across the street, you see you've got the A&W and the Ms. Pa Club, which has slots in there, and it's one of my favorites. 
and uh, I actually won a little bit of money in there tonight not a whole lot but it was good yep happy birthday to Tina so and there's pennies for Vegas hey pennies how are you and Tina's at home Yep, good times. So this Frey Ranch, it's pretty good. It's not as good as that single barrel. And it's also not as good as their bourbon, but it's 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 decent. Working on my list. This is number four out of, uh, on my way to 100. And the uh, Tony Paula liquor, the whiskey, it's called the the Whiskey 100 Club. So, I'm going to do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, this was this was my stopping point for when I start heading back home. I wanted to get here. Uh, as you know, I've been... Uh, Gene has asked, said this must be some good whiskey, but they, they do have a lot of different whiskeys, a lot that I don't have, so I'm anxious to try. So this is my, from here, I'm going to head home, and I was talking to Tina about how I'm going to do that, whether I'm going to go Route 50, which is crazy. Starts out as the loneliest lo road in America, and I th still think it stays pretty lonely all the way across the country. So I may do that. Uh, said, what other bourbon hunting stops have you not pulled into as of yet? Oh, there's there's a lot, but uh, I I uh, I spent the Gene. I spent the night in Laughlin. Uh, I was pretty much bored out of my mind. The Tropicana was very let's put it this way i was the youngest person there and i'm not very young so that was it was crazy and uh there's ibuprofen dave he's saying arg or something about something and uh so not coming back through vegas i just i just drove past it today on the way to tonopah uh and there's my sister hey Denise good to see her do they have 12 foot beard whiskey I will see I doubt it that's a that's a heck of a find right there uh, and Dave is there says hi Tina and I say I really like that last liquor store you went to Walt the one in kiss -K oh yeah that specs uh, liquor store in uh, Houston was pretty cool uh, meeting Kissy Cat was pretty cool. See, that was real. And there's Kissy Cat now. Uh, so that was uh, that's the highlight of the trip. Good barbecue. Got to meet Kissy Cat. And uh, here's a big truck coming by. And that was her and her husband are just nicer than you can imagine. You can imagine that she's really nice because she's always nice and always energetic but she's even 100 percent better in person which is hard to get but <laughs> yeah gene says you get uh bumped with walkers all night or run over with mobility scooters you do i'm not going back there for a while and we're still saying hi to ibuprofen dave always good to see him and uh kissy cat's smiling and uh i still think uh she needs to show her face on her videos because her subscriptions would go up 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 um because she just she's got that great personality uh the food was good and Kissy Cat is sweet. Uh, 
Metcalf said, stopped by my local store earlier and got myself a small bottle of Blackheart Rum 93 proof. Good stuff, and it mixes well with anything you like. That does sound good. Uh, the Pittman Cafe in Mizpah has some fantastic breakfasts. Okay. Yeah, I've eaten there. I've had dinner there. Um, I don't usually... I skip breakfast, which is not good. I, I'll eat brunch. Uh, they left there after leaving Rachel. CB's been a lot of places, man. He's been out. Rachel's crazy. So... Rachel's like one little, I mean, it's small. And the, and the little, yep, the little LN. That's all it is in Rachel. Kia says, uh, Kissy Cat says, Kia is sweet. They're both sweet. Uh, and Dave, I'm in Tonopah right now. Tonopah, Nevada. And I'm in front of the Tonopah Liquor Club. Lance agrees. Kissy Cat is sweet. And Sweet Tea says Kissy Cat is gorgeous. Yes, she is. Beautiful. Uh, Sweet Tea, I had to find a... Kissy Cat said you had to find a hat. And it was a cool hat she had on. And Tina says Kissy Cat is beautiful and fabulous. Yes, she is. And there's Roger Randall. Tina and you, everybody, make sure you keep uh, keep the chat in line. Let's see if I can walk a little bit. First, I'm going to turn this. I'm going to see if I can walk inside. They may not want this, but I'm going to set this on the counter. Hey, uh, Lacey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to walk. And look at this. I think my, is this great bar? Cool. Did the, uh, says Tina, all my cowboy hats were flattened in the closet. <laughs> Yes, we like hats. I do. Oh, wow. CV says he's been to 17 celebrity graves. Heiko, Nevada. Ely. Ely's great. And Willow Creek, California. Oh, Willow Creek where I saw the Bigfoot. Uh, probably closer to Orleans where I saw it up near the Patterson-Gimlin film site. Yeah, hit that thumbs up. A couple weeks ago, California says, I stopped by Toast Wine and Spirits in Jonesboro, Tennessee. Great selection of bourbons and bought a 22 bottle of Old Forester 101. Good stuff. Nice fruity bite to it. Shay, they knows their stuff. Old Forester, I think that's the, the 101. I, I, I was thinking maybe that's 100 proof. Uh, were you buffering in the, are you buffering now? I think there's a couple of slots in there. I'm not sure. Oh yeah. You got to get Stetson hats. This, uh, This straw hat is a Stetson. I like Stetsons. I've got some bull heads, and, uh, but I like Stetsons a lot. Walt, in your previous life as a cowboy slinger, did you prefer Colt or Remington wheel guns? <laughs> I don't have a clue. But probably Colts, because they were they might have been cheaper. I don't know. Uh, we were buffering, but good now. No, not now. When you went, yeah. As soon as I go inside, I'm gonna have to stay outside. I think. 
but I'm gonna have to go in and get me another uh, pour in a little bit. So if y'all missed it, this was the site of Wyatt Earp's old uh, bar that he used to own. Let's see if I can, and tell me if, if it starts to buffer or something like that. Yeah, Ms. Pa Casino is right across the street. And uh, here's the beautiful Velvada Hotel. Beautiful place. I'll get you a better angle. Maybe walk across the street so you can see that. Tonopah is an awesome town. And uh, I hope I'm not losing you now. We're going towards the Jim Butler. Here's Jim Butler's place. And then over here, now you can see the Belvada. Very cool spot. And that's my favorite Western store right there. That's a cool place. I've bought probably two or three hats in there. Uh, there's no, I don't think, I'm sure there's burrows somewhere, but they usually don't come in to Tonopah. It's pretty big. They get run over by these trucks on 95. There's the Bovada, which used to be a bank, and the girl that uh, was working at the Mizpah said it's pretty daggone haunted as well. And that's a great store right there. As you can imagine. Yeah, the, the burrows are in Beatty. That's right. Beatty and Rylite and Oatman. Yep. So I'm gonna see how far I can get down the street the other way without losing the signal. Here's the, uh, I'm going to walk back here. Y'all give me a heads up if things are not doing good. I've never been in the courthouse, but it looks pretty nice. Looks new almost, or re, re, remodeled. Here's the uh, fire department. How's the signal? Yeah, CV. 
definitely some great I'm glad I'm able to inspire anybody to travel because I have a love for travel for sure I'm walking up here towards the mine just to let you get a view of that. It's pretty cool. So you can take tours of this, which is pretty good. It used to be an old gold mine, I guess. You can see some of the equipment. A lot of history in this town. So. They're closing the first Chick-fil-A. Wow. Huh. You don't see that happen very often. So I'm ahead on back to the uh, Tonopah Liquor Company. And uh, Yeah, malls are extinct, just about. CV says the mining park is awesome. So, a lot of people want in Tone Pile Liquor Company right now. And there's how you get into the casino right there. I'm gonna walk down and come back. Is the stream still good? Um You know, I haven't done too much recording in the, uh, well, I've done a, a lot, but and I've seen orbs and I've seen crazy, some things that I was unexplainable. Uh, seen a lot of orbs, actually. And, uh, Oh. So, uh, I guess the, uh, when Alan was here with me, the one time, uh, we, right outside up the fifth floor of the Mizpah, uh, we were all standing out there. These couple girls were staying in that room. And they said they felt strange right in front of this pillar on the wall where the girl was murdered. Uh, and so when Alan stepped over there, he's like, whoa, he felt dizzy. He said, go, go over. And I went over there and I felt dizzy. So at that point, it must be real active or something. I stepped over there today and didn't feel anything. Uh, when Tina, when Tina and I were here, we walked up there and I stepped over there and I felt a little lightheaded, nothing like the first time with Alan and all that. Uh, and today I didn't feel anything. Uh, 
that one time I spent the night at the Mizpah, and I'm going to turn around so you can see the Mizpah. The uh, one time I stayed, I was staying at the Mizpah, and I woke up in the middle of the night, like feeling like somebody was standing right beside my bed, but it was dark. I didn't see anything, but if you know that feeling, like, it just kind of creeped me out. Just like, you just knew, like, it just felt like some, some, somebody was just standing there right beside of you. So that, that was crazy. Yeah, we don't, we don't need anything messing with us tonight. And I'm not going to go too much longer. Uh, oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure Lizzie Borden's house got a ton of warps. Temperature, I think it's like 75 to 80. It's not bad at all. It feels good. Uh, Lance says this live stream is dominated by lovely women. There's only a few gentlemen on there. Well. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, Lance. Uh, yeah, that's right. They're used to me and I bring them whiskey. <laughs> what Kissy Cat say? I miss it. Tina Paul's mom is from Fall River, Mass. Okay. The Hotel Driscoll in Austin is like that. Scary. Okay, cool. Where the heck is the Ms. Paul? That? Dr. Hamilton, thanks for coming in. And the Mizpah is in Tonopah, Nevada. And the Ghost Adventures have done at least one, uh, you know, ghost hunt here, maybe two. They also went down to the cemetery, which I really want to go down to the cemetery. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, if we're on here long enough and it, it maybe I'll walk down that way in about 30 minutes if you're still on and uh, CAMA -C says hey we watch you all the time we own the gas station across the street Wow that is awesome very cool and it's cooler in Tonopah than Las Vegas, sweet tea. Lance is so darn funny. Yeah, he is funny. Walks like Charlie on Charlie's Angels. <laughs> I've heard it all now. Uh, Turquoise says, Walt, uh, love your travel adventures, uh, but they miss Tina. See, nobody watches when Tina's not with me. So, everybody's saying hi to everybody. And Kia says hi, BB. Everybody's saying, still saying hi. Good, good to see lots of people on here. Love all you guys, Christy and Scott and. Uh, so. Let me, I need to order another drink, so let me get hold of, this, this thing is going to maybe, um, uh, start messing up a little bit, but I'm going to see if I can get another pour. I think I would. I'd like to get, uh, you want to say hi to everybody? It's, okay, we're going to have to. Let me try, what did I say? Oh, the Duke. Yeah, I'm going to try the Duke. Yeah. So this time I'm going to try the Duke, Duke bourbon.
Where's the police station? I don't want to know. How much is that? Oh, cool. Thank you. Look at this. We're going to try the... Kentucky whiskey. There you go. But okay, so all right, so. Um, I like this I like this view better so you can see the ton of Paula liquor sign um, Lacey's doing a good job in there and look at that is a nice pour she has been very generous very cool hmm the Duke When Tina's not on, the the woman come out and that's not true. I think the women like Tina too. <laughs> and uh, let's see, he's not telling everyone shout his dancing days. Try the twelve foot beard per day. I don't think they have twelve <laughs> twelve foot beard. Uh, oh, is it? Is it back in decent? It's really blurry. I'm sorry. He says, Kissy Cat says, I was shy. Kia thought that was funny. I thought he was shy. I am shy. I'm a very shy person. <laughs> what are y'all talking about? <laughs> Yep, they set the bottle down. Hey, buddies, howdy. Let me know if you can come back through Missouri. We have 12-foot beer, bourbon, cast strength in St. Louis. Oh, wow. Cool. Dice would like that. Cheers, everybody. And cheers. This stuff, I'm trying to figure if I like it. I mean, it's pretty good, but I'm not, I'm not sold yet. Four women to one guy. Walt, Walt, you dog. I'm a dog. <laughs> yeah, bartender is very nice. Walt was. I don't. I don't see where I was shy. What What is the meaning of shy? Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm just like I don't know. I'm a very reserved person. Tina is definitely the better half. <laughs> we have to give Walt a hard time. He is so down to earth. We all love him. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Lance. Yep. And, uh, You would not dig in. What was I? I did. I ate. I ate all the sausage. I ate all of the the brisket, but I couldn't eat the uh, the big rib. I didn't. I didn't like that. And the uh, of course, I don't like um, sides that much. I just like to eat, eat the the brisket or the steak or whatever. Sweet teeth, right? Wall is definitely not shy. <laughs> Dice says he's shy. No, Dice is not shy either. Yeah, beef ribs are yeah, they were all right. Pork ribs are the way to go for sure. Mm. Let's see if I like it. You know this this uh, bourbon, the John Wayne. I, that's that's not bad. 
like you get a little uh, just a tiny bit of spiciness and then it explodes like on the back of your palate with just sweet and it's got a decent finish it's not bad at all well I think everybody's kind of yeah I'm shy I mean, I, I guess when you're around people you hadn't uh, met before, you just, you might be a little, you know, hesitant. Calif Girl says, what would we do without Walt and Tina, y'all? We wouldn't be a part of these awesome adventures. For that, I give y'all a huge thumbs up, big hugs, and a toast to y'all. Well, thank you so very much. That is very nice. No, I didn't. I wasn't when I first met Kia. I was just uh, we were we were, we weren't drinking anything. What was the whiskey that Xavier said uh, tasted like? It was called uh, Whit Whitmire's. I think it was. I want to try that. Right. Yeah, I was just stunned at how uh, beautiful Kissy Cat was in real life. So, you know, when you're around a celebrity, a movie star, you don't know how to act. You get around people's, like, models and stuff like that, you're going to be shy. And, uh, wait. Kiss cat, that was awesome, Kiss Cat. Yeah, it was a Whitmire single malt. It's kind of like a scotch is single malt lots of times, but this was bourbon. It wasn't a scotch. It was a it's kind of like a scotch uh, made. Oh yeah, when uh, Kiss Cat got on my lap. I started the tipper. <laughs> but <laughs> but that was that was awkward with her husband there and she's sitting on my lap. That that's probably why I was shy. But no, nah, he didn't he didn't mind. It was like, yes, Kitsy Cat's charm. Okay, I think I'm called up. Uh, <laughs> mm. What was Kissy Cat going for? <laughs> She's going to wear cool shades. Yep. Yep, I usually have my shades on, but I couldn't. I can't read the stream. Uh, yeah, uh, Paul's a cop, so and there's Galavander slots. Very cool. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thanks everybody for coming in. Appreciate all of you all. I've got lots of my trailblazers on here. Those people help support me like you wouldn't believe. And it's it's wonderful. So uh, if you haven't become a member, consider that. It's really cool. Uh, but, you know, people like Dr. Hamilton, he has donated money and Bill Coleman and Kia Bell and Ibuprofen David, you guys are awesome, and lots of other people. Uh, and uh, so, anyway, um, let's see what time. What time is? Let me look at. Uh, sun's not quite going down. I want to get down towards the cemetery. 
I'm going to see if I can walk to the cemetery. Oh man, this stuff, this stuff is getting addictive. It's not bad. It's got a little bit of an aftertaste, but I'm enjoying sipping on it. Um, by, do y'all want me to walk down to the Tonopah Cemetery? Let me know. Yep, thanks, Denise. Thanks. Time for ghost stories. I'll tell you some ghost stories at the... Um, at the uh, cemetery, for sure. Well, we won't be able to see... I want to do it at dusk if we can see. Uh, I may go back tonight and just film, see what I can pick up. It is a scary cemetery, that's for sure. As soon as I can finish this, uh, this little pour of the John Wayne, can't leave this spot though because this is still there it's really cool that you can sit outside here too mm. all right i'm gonna turn this around and i'm gonna run i'm gonna go in and put my glass on the I'm gonna put my glass up. Okay, I'm back. It's kind of a walk down here. Uh, how's the stream, is it good? Kissy cat. She just gave me five bucks to buy another drink. That's too sweet. You've been, you already bought me, she bought me uh, lunch, dinner basically, and bought me a whole bunch of gifts, which we're going to open up uh, next Saturday on a live stream. And, uh, Bud says we need more ghost stories. You guys are awesome. Thanks, Kissy Cat FTSC Frontier. I don't know what that means. Uh, hope the ghost lady in red doesn't get get you. Nah, she she's probably in the uh, she's probably just in the uh, the Mizpah, the lady in red. Good, says it coming in loud and clear. Grandma Joyce says, uh, just got home. Oh, she she had there's she gave me scratch off tickets, she gave me uh, caramel corn, which I'll be picking out of my teeth, and uh, but I'm gonna eat them and a t-shirt and a hat and stickers and everything very very nice thanks again kissy cat appreciate all you did and all you do and all of my members how's the picture now as I'm walking down uh, the street. Is it good? A 
Look at this. The Tonopah Lithium Corporation. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even, uh, yes, even earrings and koozies and I wasn't too thrilled about the earrings. I'll save those for Andy Goodspeed. Okay. So I know this isn't as exciting as uh, walking on Fremont Street. But I still think it's pretty cool. Yep, lithium is big. Everyone, yeah, it is true. Everyone needs earrings, especially Andy Goodspeed. This might be like a mile walk. It could be a walk. I don't know if I'll make it. We'll see. My battery might die. We don't know. I think lithium is a mineral they use like in... I don't know. Is it? I don't know for sure. Y'all need to Google that and find out. Dice Sniper, is he in here? Because he Google stuff and gives you the scoop a lot. Yes, lithium is bright. It's for batteries. And like, they'll be really using that for like the battery operated cars and stuff. Sorry, it's, it's a bit windy in Tonopah, but that's always, we were blocked by the, um, the buildings, but now that we're, we're kind of exposed now. Yes. Hey, there's Dale McKenzie. Yeah. Hey, Dale. We, uh, I was just sitting at the, uh, Tonopah Liquor Company and there's a vacant lot right beside of the Tonopah Liquor Company where Wyatt Earp owned his bar. And I find that pretty dang cool. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, Dale, Dale McKenzie and Tina both had birthdays on the first. So, two of my favorite people. Man, the wind is just picking up big time. Hope that's not too distracting. Man, we got a lot of great people in here. I hope I have not missed you. If I did, it's because uh, just I'm trying to do this by myself. I don't have Tina by my side and uh, 
you know we're dropping in people now but uh hopefully they'll pick up once we get to the cemetery and i still have service but that's you know that's a ways down here there's the there's the bank club y'all getting a real tour of that's a Chinese restaurant and called the Bank Club and uh, it's another little casino. Thanks everybody for coming in. Look at this old piece of mine with the equipment right there. And as you can see, 95 North is a very busy highway. Yeah, Tina has to work so she can uh, let me travel. Oh, wow. That is cool. JJ Walker says he's a, he's a landman and works in, in Canadian County, Oklahoma, where El Reno was or is. And he said, I wish I would have known you were eating some onion burgers. I would have joined. Yeah, no doubt. Onion burgers are amazing. So that, that, that was a great, great stop. If you guys haven't watched that video of Robert's Grill and the onion burgers, you need to do that. Those onion burgers are great. I'm getting tired. Thanks for coming in, even though Tina's not with me. I think I can see, yep, where I can see the Clown Motel right down there. So we're almost there. And then we'll tell you some ghost stories. We'll get back up here on this sidewalk. I hope everybody's enjoying this. So the Clown Motel, I'll tell you a little bit about that when I get down here. I agree with that, Lance. I mean, I, Dale McKenzie, if y'all have heard him sing and watch some of the videos that he's shown on his channel and stuff, he was probably just like a, a hair of being like a Wayne Newton or one of those guys. I mean, he's that talented. He's probably more talented than most everybody in, that's been in Vegas. Dude's got a lot of talent. Yes. Dale is awesome. I hope he's still here. 
here's the sign that says the Tonopah and Goldfield Railroad. Learn more at the Central Nevada Museum dot com very cool and we're getting close to the clown motel it's kind of like walking from planet hollywood to the cosmo Yeah, he, uh, he says the poor man's Wayne Newton. But the way I look at it, Dale, I mean, he could have been so famous, he wouldn't talk to any of us. But he's not like that. Yeah, I've stayed there too at the Clown Motel. And uh, it's just a creepy place just because of clowns. So we still got some people hanging on and I sure do appreciate it we'll get down here to the clown motel and i'll tell you a few stories um lacy at the the bar wait i'll tell you when i get down to the cemetery I'm not a huge fan of clowns, believe you me. They just kind of like, except for Jeremy Tebby from the Canadian Barbecue Mafia, because he's in the Shriners. So I like him. And all the Shriners, they're good people. So here we are, guys. We're getting very close. to the Clown Motel and the historic Tonopah Cemetery. And I'm sorry about the wind. There's really nothing we can do about that. This, this place and is very windy as always and here we are the clown motel let's see if you can see the sign probably let me get over here Clown Motel. So, when I stayed here, there was really, it just was a creepy place. Um, it's so creepy that I really didn't want to stay again and I haven't I just didn't sleep good just wasn't comfortable but uh, Alan stayed here too from Las Vegas and beyond he stayed here when I stayed here and uh, he nothing really happened to him nothing really happened to me but it's just the uh, I was in the corner room right there there and Alan is in like 202 right there I think so there's tons of clowns in there I'd go inside but I'll lose service but what is 
if there's anything like haunted about it it's probably coming from this cemetery and I'm gonna walk down here and tell you some stories Yep, walking to the cemetery. <laughs> so, hopefully I'll be able to find uh, Big Bill's Cemetery. Should be right around. And I'll tell you a story about Big Bill. Where is Big Bill? in this area somewhere there's a Civil War veteran I'm still looking for Big Bill Sure, I'll walk across it here. Let's see. Hmm. There he is. Okay. And actually, you can get a map and it tells you about people, but here's Big Bill's cemetery. Now, Big Bill was a hero. I, I don't know if you can see me very good or not, but uh, I'll just tell you that he, this Big Bill, and that's his cemetery right there, he was a hero. He worked in the, uh, in the mines or was a fire fireman or something like that, and uh, he there was a fire that was broke out in the mine and big bill kept going in saving people he's a big guy and he'd save people and bring them out and then he'd go right back in bring some more out and then he'd go back right back in they say he's just a big jolly great person and uh on the last visit he went in back in to the mine it was on fire and he didn't make it out so he was a very true true hero now they say that um, he will follow you around in the cemetery so I didn't know this but one night uh, I was at I was in here and I I had my phone out and I did a video and you if you listen to the the video that I did of Tony Paul Cemetery I said Bill are you here and at the time live well, well as I was recording I didn't hear anything but when I went to edit uh, I could hear him say I can't remember if he said hello or I think he said yeah or something like that but it's clear you could you can really hear it clearly uh, so that kind of creeped me out but at the time as I'm walking through and doing the doing the live stream I I mean I couldn't hear anything it was just when I edited then you could hear the noise 
so uh, that was that was something else now and then I was you know just walking it was dark it's pretty dark and I was walking through here and I had gotten down through here there's some there's some twins that got killed a lot of the people in here that died were in the fire quite a few people died in that fire and um, I was just wandering through here and then I forget where I was I was probably you know I was heading towards the back because I wanted to see the sheriff's um, tombstone so I knew he was back here so I was looking for him and I saw a light and actually I was standing right here and I saw a light over there and I thought oh wow that's weird so I went back there and I knew the sheriff's was back there so I walked back here See, a lot of this area over here are small babies. This little baby was nine years old when it passed away. Right here. Nine years old. Oh, I'm sorry, nine months old. Nine months old. And uh, it's, it's good. Here's one that was nine months old, too. Lyndon Hargrove had an accident died at nine months if I'm missing comments I'm sorry I'm busy running my mouth yep there were diseased there were people that was shot there were people here in this this you think about here's 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 why this place is so haunted. People died of suicide. People died of violent deaths. People died getting burned up in fires. People died from being shot. A lot of lives that were cut short. And that's why they're probably troubled and wandering around. He sounded like a teacher. <laughs> I am a teacher. Uh, so anyway, back here, remember I said I saw a light back here. So I walked back here towards the light, wondering what that was. And let's see if I can find it. Ooh, he died of a gunshot wound. Matt Devine died of a gunshot wound. And here's where the light was. And this is Kate Miller. And she died of a morphine overdose. She was from British Columbia. And she was 33 years old. So I stood back here and I said, Hello, Kate. Are you here with us? And on that video, you can very clearly hear her say, Hello? In a female voice. That really shook me up. And it, at the same time, as I'm walking over through here, you can hear like crunching, like of rocks or dry grass or something like that. And I was wondering, you know, was that uh, K 
tape making that noise and I could I could hear that audible as I'm standing still you could hear steps being taken and I was wondering, is that Kate or is that Big Bill who they say follows you around? I didn't know which one was which. So that that's crazy. And then over here, I believe the sheriff is right here. Yep. Sheriff Thomas Logan. He said that um, a lot of people in this area say that uh, he, or and I've read stuff that he's was a great sheriff and helped out so many people but there was a, a bar fight he went to. So he got called in the middle of the night, went to the bar fight. Not a phone call, just people said, hey, there's a fight. So he goes down, he died in 1906. And uh, so when he got there, the fight had kind of spewed onto the street and uh, one of the guys shot him and killed him. So it's very sad. The guy's thing decorated very nicely for Memorial Day. Though. So he lived from 1861 to 1906. Pretty young. So, I'm probably going to sign off for any, uh, anybody have anything for me, any questions or anything like that? We've been on here for a while. You guys were patient with me, walked down the street, had a couple whiskeys, come down to the cemetery, and uh, so... Yeah, from uh, 1861 he, to 1939 years, and then he uh, six years later he got killed. So he would have been about 45. So good stuff. So, pretty cool. Like I said, I'm going to sign off. Uh, and I sure do appreciate everybody watching. She says, can't really think of anything except we thank you so very much for taking us on this awesome tour. Yeah. So... Good night, everybody, and keep it squatchy. I'm out.